everybody and welcome to a new video. Today we're going to be going over redstone basics, what does it all mean and how to use it. This is a really easy tutorial for beginners so I'd recommend seeing and watching if you want to know a thing or two about redstone. So redstone blocks, your holy grail. These things constantly emit power. Redstone blocks, your holy grail. They emit power in any direction you want them to at the same time. Redstone. This is the dust that you pick up from the th from the ore block. And it's an electric wire basically, but it runs out as it goes longer distances. As you will see, it goes from being really bright up there to being almost back to the original colour it was. Repeaters refresh the current every 15 blocks or so when you place them down and they can add a delay in. Redstone torches emit power all the time unless you power them through a block. That one's emitting power, it's emitting it through a block and this one is off. And then if I remove that, it stays on. As you can see here, full blocks carry a redstone signal through one block only. So if I add another one here and then a redstone torch, it won't work if I power that. So only one block. Use slabs when you want to avoid them carrying the signal. If you stand on a pressure plate or put an item on a wooden pressure plate, it will emit power until you go off it. Same thing with buttons. Press it and it'll go on and then turn off. Wooden buttons stay on for longer. Use a lever if you would like an on off switch that doesn't automatically turn off. Pistons retract and then come back in. And if I put a block in front of each of these, this one's a sticky piston, you can see by the slime on it. This one is not. They will both push it forward and then this block will be left here and the sticky piston will retract the block, hence it, it's sticky, it'll stick. Slime and honey will stick to each other and to any other blocks. So if I put a block up here, this will be retracted back by the honey. Obviously this won't because it's not a sticky piston. So if I extend them both again, they will both bring back the block. But if I put a honey block here, they don't stick to each other. So if I break this, this will come back and it will not stick to the honey block, which is the greatest thing. However, these do not move these blocks. If they're powered, they just won't move them. So that's uh, stone workbenches, obsidian and glazed terracotta. Observers emit a signal every time something changes in the block that they are observing. So that goes when you place a block and when you destroy it. Hoppers pick up item fr items from the block above and funnels them down into wherever this thing is pointing. So this will come through the hopper and then into this chest. If I want to change that, I could power it and then it will stop moving anything. And then if I unpower it, it will continue. A comparator will emit a redstone signal when a chest has things in it and will stop emitting it when it doesn't. Comparators also compare lecterns when they when you place a book in them and then emit longer strengths the more pages that you have in that book. Droppers, if powered, will drop items with a very intensely actually. I didn't realise they go that far. It's sort of random. But if you keep powering this it will drop lots of items. Similarly, dispensers do dispense items, but only useful ones. So dispensers, when powered, will dispense whatever they have in them, if it's useful, and when unpowered, will, when powered again, will pick it back up. So you need two signals for those. Target blocks, when hit by a bow, will emit a redstone signal once, it will not stay powered, and then you just take it back. When struck by lightning, lightning rods also emit a sh short signal. 
During the day, daylight sensors will emit a redstone signal, but if you want this to be night, just right click it and it will be a nighttime sensor. Tripwire hooks connected by string will emit a signal either side while you are standing there. Rails must be powered for them to work efficiently because this will just keep slowing down until it eventually stops even though it does have something in it so it will move faster. So to fix this you have to put in a powered rail and power it. So this will go across to the powered rail and it will go fast again. But if you unpower it, it will stop on that block. Detector rails, when something moves on it, will emit a redstone signal for a while. Note blocks are powered by redstone but work best with buttons because then the, they don't have to be turned off. They only turn off automatically. And if you right click them, it will change their note. So this note will be played all the time when it is powered. If you put multiple next to each other, they will make a nice chord. And best of all, TNT is triggered by redstone, but it will break your redstone. And whatever you do, don't build near water. That is all for today. I hope you enjoyed this video. If it helped you, leave a comment, leave a like if you enjoyed, and subscribe if you haven't already. I'll see you next week with another video.